All right, welcome back to the Real Music Observer. It's Dave, of course, talking about real music, real time for real people just like you right there. Whoops. Hold on a second. Like you right there and me right here. I uh, was rereading this Ultimate Classic Rock article I got right here. Uh, talks about the imminent breakup of the band Journey. And this is like the All Journey All the Time channel. Uh, until the drama dies down, it will focus on different stuff, but uh, this is its just so much information here. Like I said in the last video, uh, I mean, or one of the videos, I got about 19 more to cover here. So Neil, buddy, Neil, it's, it's not going to stop and it's not going to end well uh, because apparently Neil Sean signed a release for him to have Greg Raleigh perform on stage during the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, let's keep this in perspective, okay? Greg Raleigh left the band on his own accord in 1980, right? Something like that, 79, 80, I think it was 80. Someone will correct the record, of course, because they always do. Uh, and he left because he told Neil and the rest of the band that he didn't want to tour. And Neil said, oh, I just cut him loose and let him go. All right. The explosive growth of this band was not due to Greg Raleigh, although Greg Raleigh leaving actually helped the band because Jonathan Cain stepped in and was a creative force that can't be denied. The biggest songs uh, on the American landscape today, including the most downloaded tune in history, Don't Stop Believin', came mostly from the pen of Jonathan Cain. So the other members probably thought to themselves, and by the way, Ross Valerie participated in saying, I don't want Raleigh on stage performing. Now I had actually done videos saying it would be cool, it would be cool, but in hindsight, I see where these guys are at because Raleigh decided to bolt and it's kind of awkward. Hey, I'm the current keyboard player. Uh, I'm the guy who's on our biggest album, Escape. And clearly this guy didn't want to be in Journey anymore. Okay. Now there are other little pressures that were added. Uh, Steve Perry uh, did not like Greg Raleigh. It's, it's just a well-known fact. And uh, if you try to spin it just that... Uh, you know, Greg wanted to not tour, which, okay, then why did he come out with solo albums? Why has he been touring in recent years? Why did he join up with the Storm? Okay, those are all things that are true. Uh, so, you know, again, there are two sides to every story, and this story is Greg Raleigh decided to leave on his own. And the guys in the band who stayed and worked hard and earned the right to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, not to say that Raleigh shouldn't be in, he was already in with Santana. So he gets in with Journey again, but for him to get up there on stage, in hindsight, for me to even suggest that is a good idea was wrong by me, and I could see why Valerie and uh, Jonathan Kane would say no. Because hey, you know, he's here, he's being inducted, Ainsley Dunbar, okay, he wasn't performing, right? Or did he perform? He, you know what? I didn't see it, so I think he may have been up there. Uh, the point being is that, you know, Sean makes himself into the martyr. Well, I had to sign a release for him so he could perform. The other guys wouldn't, you know, wouldn't do it. And this whole thing just seems to be sort of this bubbling under coup that was developing that Sean was trying to take over the band in a sense that he's trying to bring the old guys back. Uh, he's tired of the new guys. Uh, his science experiment didn't work out on vocals, so he's, you know, he's saying, boy, wouldn't it be great? I'm going to dedicate this song to Steve Perry. I'm going to dedicate another song to Steve Perry. I'm going to talk incessantly about Steve Perry. I'm going to talk about how much chemistry I had with Steve Perry. In the meantime, the rest of the guys are like, hey, you know, Steve's not coming back. He's already said he's not coming back. And you want to talk about the future, the future isn't the past. So it's a it's a big, massive, mixed message. And another 
you know, reality that we find out about is this whole battle at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as to who would be performing. And when you think of it, you could see how the other guys would be like, hey, you know, and, and there's another side to that coin too, of course. It's like, hey, dude, just, just let him get up there and, and play, you know. But he did chose, you know, he chose to leave the band. Uh, he wasn't fired from the band. Uh, it's good that he was inducted. And, you know, that probably should have been it. You know, he should have been inducted. And then the current lineup should have gone up there and played. All right, the inducted lineup, you know, Steve Perry was there. He chose not to sing. He could have sang. He didn't sing. I think that was the classy move. And the same could be said of Greg Raleigh, you know. He chose to leave the band. It's really not fair to the guys who are currently in the band for him to get up there and perform when the other guys should be performing. And that, I think, is the crux of this entire video, is that Sean continues to kind of make it sound like, you know, all the things I want to do, I have to fight to get it done, and nobody else will do anything, and... Uh, you know, they, they were mean to Greg and this and that, and Greg left the band on his own, okay? He left the band, and he even said, people are going to think I'm crazy for leaving the band when I knew it was about to break out. But I'll tell you what, it wouldn't have broke out as big as it broke if Jonathan Cain didn't step in and write great songs and play great keyboards and bring a modern synthesizer keyboard sound to the band. Fact. Okay, fact. So debate all you want about Raleigh. I like Raleigh. Uh, I think as a vocalist and keyboard player, he's very overrated, though. He's a good guy, and he deserves what he's got, which is two Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions. But that's about it, man. That's it. I'm Dave, and this is The Real Music Observer, and we'll be back soon with more real music very, very shortly. Talk to you then.